footage has surfaced online showing debris from SpaceX's Starship, which launched Thursday from Boca Chica, Texas, falling into the Caribbean Sea. The launch, conducted at 4.37 p.m. Central Standard Time from SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas, featured the Super Heavy booster igniting its 33 Raptor engines and propelling the Starship spacecraft over the Gulf of Mexico. Are those shooting what stars? What's what is it? What are those? Look up, everybody, look up! While the booster successfully returned to the launch pad and was caught by SpaceX's massive mechanical arms, a feat achieved for only the second time, the mission faced a setback when the Starship craft failed mid-flight. Hey, you know what that is? Hey, Jack! Look at that shit above you! You know what that is? Wait, what that is? Look, look. Approximately eight minutes into the mission, communication with the Starship spacecraft was lost, and SpaceX later confirmed that the vehicle had exploded. Debris from the craft re-entered Earth's atmosphere, creating a dazzling spectacle visible over the Turks and Caicos Islands. Are those shooting stars? What's that? What is it? What are those? Look up, everybody! Look up! Look up! <laughs> The spacecraft, intended to land in the Indian Ocean about an hour after launch, never completed its trajectory. Despite the mission's failure, SpaceX highlighted the progress achieved, particularly in successfully recovering the Super Heavy Booster. Check up there, check to the sky. Check to the sky. The test flight, carrying dummy satellites, marked the company's seventh, attempt at advancing its ambitious space exploration goals. This marks a critical step in refining the company's reusable rocket technology. Stop. What? This seventh test flight builds on the company's previous six attempts as SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of innovation and address challenges in its Starship program. The launch signifies incremental but significant progress toward the development of the next generation spacecraft designed for interplanetary missions.